Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics, and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the first part we have covered. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We will discuss about installation of Alteryx Trail version. Please check the caption to jump between the topics. If you are new to the Mind Magics channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials, free webinars, and career enhancing shorts from working professionals. Like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. In this video, we're gonna cover what is Alteryx and how we will download the trial version of Alteryx, how to install it in our system. So let's start. We will start by typing Alteryx free trial download. So just enter this and click. You will be taken to this link, free trial Alteryx. Click on this link. Now you have to enter a couple of things over here like this. It will ask you for the email ID and you can it's, it's totally up to you. If you like to check this box, you can check else leave it as it is. Click submit. Now after this, there will be an executive file .exe file downloaded in the bottom of your screen. Double click on this file and let it run. It will take a couple of seconds. You can see that there are two types of Altic Designer that are available. Altic Designer 2020.2 cross 64. Altic Designer 2020.12 Cross64 with R based predictive tools. So, as of now, I gonna download this version, the bottom one, Altic Designer 2020.1 with R based predictive tool. So, this version has some edge over the above mentioned version. Here, you can do the predictive analysis, descriptive analysis, and you can click on next. The download will start. It will take a couple of seconds to download. Now, after the download has been completed, it will start installing Alteryx in your system. You can see that Alteryx download manager at the bottom is there. Now you can see the install where wizard is verifying the content of this setup package. And this might take a couple of seconds to load completely. Let's wait till then. Now you can see that the verification of the package installer has been done and it is making your Altix designer installed in the system under C users and whatever your name would be, it will start installing. It will take somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes to load this setup completely. So let us wait till then. Now, this pop up come after the package installer has been verified. It is asking that R for Windows and R packages require the Altix predictive tool will be installed in your system. What we do? We will Click yes, we want the Alteryx predictive tool. You need to click on the next, uh, it is just the agreement that you you are okay with the general licensing term of Alteryx. Click next. Now it is showing that this may take several minutes. So let us wait till now. Till then, yeah. Now our, our package has been successfully integrated and installed with Alteryx. It is showing that it is successfully installed and run Alteryx now. So we will select finish over here. It will launch Alteryx for you. You can see that Alteryx designer has been installed and it is starting up. It will take a couple of seconds. Okay. So now our Alteryx designer has been opened in our system. You can see over here, we will cover the interface of Alteryx in the upcoming video tutorial. So this is today with the Alteryx designer installation part. Now we need a key to work on Alteryx designer. We need a key. 
and that key can be procured by using the Altex website. I'll show you. We will visit this link. So Altix provides a license for a student for one year free. Whomsoever is pursuing any education can procure a license by using the Altix Spark Ed program. What Spark Ed program is? Under this, you will have to apply for a free educational license. Or if you are a member of any non-profit organization, you can also download and get the license key from there. So I will show you how to get the free education license. Click over here. See, you can notice there is high higher education student, higher education educators, and career changers. The adapt program. You can also visit this link if you are uh, willing to change your career in all fields. But we will uh, choose this one, higher ed students. It will take some time to load. Okay. It will ask you which country do you belong to. Just enter your respective countries. I belong to India, so I'll enter India. It will ask your name as appearing on your ID proof or uh, your identity card of any college or school. I enter my detail, enter the birth month and day. For quicker verification, please use the university email address. So you guys must have some email address like chitwan.garg at the rate mmh.gov.in. You can also use any EDU ID. You can enter your personal email ID over here. I will enter my personal email ID over here. You have to enter the name of college. So my college is in the first engineering college. Okay, by default it is not taking the name. And you can see that I can select any of the option. For now, I will select uh, Impress College, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. I will select the month and year of anticipated graduation date. So my anticipated graduation date is in August. Twenty twenty. Area of study is computer science. And plan of use is for the study purposes. Click next. Now you will have to upload the documentation. Any valid ID proof from a school or college that is reflecting your name, your photo should be there. The date providing enrollment for the current term, it should be within the like three months. Example of acceptable document is class schedule, tuition receipt or school ID card. Just add a file over here, browse. And I will select a picture. I'm just selecting any random picture, but you guys need to take the photograph of your ID, the educational ID, and then select that. It should clearly reflect your name, your address, your current academic year and the purpose of a study which course you are taking and then you can click continue the reason why why am i am emphasizing a lot on the correct details is because there is a lot of verification that is being done by sheer okay and if you fail in that verification you will not get any of the educational license so now i have submitted this detail and i will receive an email within two or three days with my student license. I'll show you because I applied for the license in the past. I'll show you how this mail will come. So now you can see the mail come from Sheer ID. You'll get a mail from verify at the rate shareid.com. And here the license key will be mentioned. And one license key can work on one computer only. So that's all. So what you need to do, you can go over here and go to help option about. 
and check your latest Altix version. The reason I am telling you this is because some of the workflow that you download from Google might be the older version or the newer version. So by default, just download the latest version. The second thing that you need to take care of is Altrix releases its version timely. And like we have prepared the license key, you can go and manage licenses. Go over here to enter your license key. It will take a couple of seconds to load. See this, activate new license. And you can paste your license key here. Let's suppose I paste my license key here. By default, I'm just randomly typing something. You will have to enter your license key. It is confidential. That's why I'm not entering my key and you can click on activate. Okay, it is showing that it is not the valid license key. We just copy mine. License key. And paste it over here and activate. It will take some time to load. You will have to enter the other details to be able to use this key. I will enter mine. I'm not uh, uh, entering my company name due to the confidentiality purpose. You will have to enter the address. Ignore this message and activate. 